going to make my special dip. This dip, I honestly learned it just because I really don't have a lot of recipes that I know of or that I feel comfortable doing and actually taking to a party or a dinner. So a friend told me to find a recipe that's pretty easy, that I can do multiple times and master it, and that that could be my signature dish. So I actually made this dip a few times already and have already received a request to make it again. So I figured I would share this. Um, if you are like me and you don't know how to cook 100% and you're still learning and you're trying to get the hang of flavors and you don't feel com comfortable to take a dish to your husband's family's dinner, your boyfriend's family dinner, this is something that you could totally make so easy and really fast too. So this is what you'll need. So I have already opened my two cans of Rotel tomatoes. This one is mild, this one is regular, original. I'm mixing both um, just because I like it to have a little cake but not too much. So I have both of these here. And here is my meat, which I'll show you exactly what meat I bought here. Um, a pound of the Jimmy Dean premium pork sausage. I like regular, you can get mild and hot. I just like regular. I like to add my spice with what I'm about to show you next. So just a pound of this. Then I have two packs of um, cream cheese. Oh my god, that just fell. Fail. First things first. I will be using this kind of a pan. I don't know what it's called, but this is how thick it is. And I'm going to start my heat at medium, which is about, actually at like six, which I believe is like medium high, okay? Not all the way high, because I don't want to burn everything. I just want it to slowly cook, okay? My pan is a nonstick pan. If you don't have a nonstick pan, then I would recommend adding a little bit of butter or a little bit of oil or coconut um, coconut oil, just anything to make sure it, it doesn't stick. The meat that we'll be using already has natural fat, so it shouldn't, but just in case, if you are using an, old, an older pan, you might wanna prevent it from sticking. So I just turned it on. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on here. So my pan is already warm. I'll be using a um, plastic spatula just because I don't like to use this kind because I don't like to scratch my pans. So I'll be using a plastic one. And I'm gonna start off by just putting the meat in there, okay? Just gonna drop it in there. And you can kind of hear it sizzling already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking it apart. Because remember, a dip has small little pieces of meat in it. So you don't want big chunky pieces and then it just becomes uneven. So I'm just gonna break it apart. This part's a little tedious, but it's probably the hardest part, which is honestly not even hard. toasty color okay so until I get it to that point I will stand here break it into little pieces Now it's the perfect amount of color. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. Now I'm gonna add my other can, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in there. Literally just mixing it. Nothing hard about this. Now that the tomatoes are in here, the last and final step is to add the cream cheese, which I have here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few at a time, because it does take a while for it to melt. Okay. Now that that's in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it. And repeat the same process just shake it in there okay you guys look at this the cheese has melted the tomatoes and the meat are very well mixed together we are officially done officially done and you guys just made amazing dip look at that oh my gosh so good so meaty has a nice little kick to it it's literally perfect What do you think of the dip? <laughs> okay, Diego, take your bite. So good, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm a slow motion that. So that's the end of this video. My special dip. So easy to make. If you make it, let me know because I wanna know how easy you thought it was and if you liked it or whatnot, let me know. I love to hear stories of you guys recreating this or if you change it up a little bit, let me know because I'd love to try it too. Anyways, I hope you love this video. Follow, share, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful holiday season. And if you make this dip again, please let me know.